appreciate it. What a beautiful day it is. A great time for Republicans to get together and fellowship like we are today. I want to say a couple words about Bryce Reese before we get started here because uh, this is his, his day. He's here in this county. He's new to this county, but I've, I've not known him that long. But I know him as a person who has served his country, he served his community, and now he's going to go to Richmond and serve the Commonwealth of Virginia. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I also want to say, if you happen to be from the Rivanna District, when you go in that voting booth, <laughs> you're the first going to be on that thing. And I, I want to ask you all to, to, to do a couple things for me, because I think where we are right now is we're in the fourth quarter, we're in the red zone, we can't take a knee like Virginia did this past weekend because we haven't got this race won. So we need everybody's help. You've got to be out there working, talking to your neighbors, telling people who, how important these races are, both at the state level and in the Rivanna District for our local elections. And it's very important. I want to ask you to do a couple things. I'd like for each of you who knows someone in, in the Rivanna District to call five people, well, maybe ten if you want to. <laughs> so we want you to get out there and vote for Ken Boyd and ask them to call five other people they know and tell them to vote for Ken Boyd, to vote for, for Bryce Reeves, and let's have a big switch in the Senate this year, and let's keep the same majority that we have on the local Board of Supervisors. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ken, thank you so much for your uh, service, and, and, uh, and, and as, as Ken said, the, uh, the elections uh, that we have at a local level uh, with uh, Jim Norwood, and Ken Boyd are so vitally, vitally important to the future of, of Albemarle County. I thank Ken uh, for his leadership, and uh, and I'm proud to support him and and, and look forward to his uh, his reelection. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. We have got to turn. Uh, we got to turn out all the forces uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks to make sure to make sure that we don't uh, go the, the go go the wrong direction. We want to go the right direction. We want to continue building on the successes that we've had. Um, I want to thank Rachel for, uh, for, for, for putting this together. Jordan and Anna Parrish, I know, uh, worked together to put this together uh, uh, this morning. I want to thank everybody who is here today. You know, it's hard to believe that about a year ago, we were doing the same thing here at this old bank with nothing in the safe. We got the pumpkins out front. We know it's an election's coming. We know an election's coming. And, and I think back on, it's hard to believe that it's been a year, but I think back on, on the progress that we've made, the importance of the election that was held one year ago, the vital importance of that election to the future of Albemarle County, to the future of Virginia, and to the future of our country. Not for our sake, but for our children's sake. If we want to preserve this country and what made it great, we're going to have to fight for it. We're going to have to fight for it. And the way we do it in this country is in a peaceful way. It's a, sometimes a raucous way, but it is, it is the way we do it, and it's through elections. And what I have found since being in Washington for the last um, uh, nine months has been, I have found frustration. It is extremely frustrating to be in a place where we lead day after day, we put in bills, we en enact legislation day after day on the House side, but we send it to the Senate, and it gets sat upon. <laughs> Harry Reid sits on the good jobs bills that we have been putting forward for the last nine months, the energy bills that would unleash tremendous resources in this country, and thousands and thousands of jobs. That's what the frustration that we have there. We have been met again and again with, with silence in the Senate and no leadership. With all due respect to the President, no leadership for coming from the White House. Well, the same thing has happened in, 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 in Richmond, where year after year, for the last several years, we've enacted good bills in the House of Delegates with the leadership of Rob Bell and, and, and others, and watched those good bills go to the Senate and be met with silence. That is the problem. Now, how are we going to fix it? What I have realized in being in Washington it, for the last nine months is, is, and I think we've all kind of gone through this process after coming off of such a huge win in November, that this is not an election or this is not a time where one election is going to make a difference. We have to win this year. We're going to restore sanity to, to full sanity in the, in, in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we need to win next year. And this is all part, I think, of, a, of, of the larger battle to regain, uh, to regain this country's uh, preeminence in, 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 in the world. Restore us to the greatness that our founders left with us. 
So that is why it is so important that we work in the next couple of weeks to elect Bryce Reeves to the Virginia Senate. He's a good man, and as you all know, he's a, he is someone who knows about serving his country. You know, I am a person who uh, never have had, never has had the, 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 the privilege of serving in our military. Um, but to those who have, like Bryce Reeves and many of you all here, uh, I can't think of any greater uh, love or commitment to one's country, to what the principles one believes in, than service to, to, to your country. Uh, as a member of the armed forces that we take for granted we take for granted the freedom on this beautiful october day the freedoms that we enjoy here are purchased as, as, uh, at the price of those who sacrifice for us in places far far away far far away over the ocean and bryce reeves is somebody who stepped up to the plate when called and has served his country he's come back and he's built a business for himself he's, a, he's got business experience wow we need that more than ever uh, in, in, in Richmond and in Washington. We need his strength, we need his experience, we need his leadership. So it is incumbent upon each of us, as I think Ken Boyd said very well, go back home today, recommit yourselves to reaching out to as many people. You can call five people. I say call 10 people, call 25 people, call everybody you know because this year is gonna be a low turnout. We know what happens uh, in, 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 in these off year elections low turnout so we have the opportunity but we've got to make it happen and i tell you what everybody needs to leave with one of these no leave with 10 of these leave with 25 of these and get them on the vehicles these signs we've got to get the signs up and most of all the neighbor to neighbor letters are awesome we've got to get those neighbor to neighbor letters out the phone calls are critical but that's what that that's that's what's going to win this election. It's boots on the ground, and you know why I know it's, it wins elections, <laughs> because what happened here in Albemarle County one year ago, that won our election. And I'm, <laughs> and, and, in, and in many respects, the critical importance of Albemarle County in our election is in 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 in, in 2010 is the exact same dynamic for Mr. Bryce Reeves. We have, can do our part in Albemarle County, and I predict to you that Bryce Reeves will win on Election Day, and he will do so because of Albemarle County. <laughs> Introduce our candidate, Bryce Reeves. Yes. Good morning. I am truly honored, I'm humbled to be here. I bring you a message from the front lines. As an infantryman, uh, being the messenger, taking it back to you all. Uh, we're winning, folks. We're winning because of folks like you. Uh, when this election's over with, we've been on the march for 24 months. That's two years. Two years to unroot a 28-year entrenched incumbent. When we started this election, we heard, I don't know. Let me tell you what we hear now. Go Bryce, go. Yes. Go yeah. Bryce, go. Yeah. You know, where there is no vision, the people perish. We brought a vision, and that vision was from you all. That vision is very simple. We're over 82,000 phone calls. We're over 14,000 doors knocked. Let me tell you what the number one message for all of us is and what's the message for your neighbors, and that's jobs. Jobs. We have to create an environment in Richmond that's conducive to job growth, to allow small business to make great gains, to flourish. Business owners like myself, I've been through the district, we've had round tables, many of you have been part of that discussion. There's three things business owners are looking for. They're looking for stability, predictability, and flexibility, those three terms. Stability, flexibility, and predictability. They need to understand the role that government's going to play each and every day in their business so they can plan for that. I've hired two people this year, but not just two people. That's two families. Two families that my wife and I get to share, interact with, and help make a better life, carve out a life here in Virginia. Folks, I, I couldn't do it alone. There's no way I could do it alone. I have a fantastic team, but I do want to thank the team that's behind me because, folks, 
when we started with the redistricting and Albemarle was new to us, I didn't know a lot of you all. Now I have a lot of friends, a lot of family, what I would call family to me now here, and you all are in here. And I, I just want to say, give yourselves a big round of applause because there's no way that we can do what we can mm -hmm. do without you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Let me close with this. 21 days in a wake up. 21 days. That's, that's this small as far as the big picture goes. We got a governor mm -hmm. who is down in Richmond working each and every day for all of us. But he cannot do it alone. He's all in. I mean all in. And let me tell you how I know that. Because at 11 o'clock at night, and I haven't made one of the phone calls yet, but I get these phone calls from the governor just to check on my welfare. Because he's been out there, he knows the grind of a campaign, just to say, how's your family? Have you taken a couple hours off? You know, get some rest. You're going to need it as you close out these last few days. And he's been so supportive. And that goes through the whole chain of command. All those guys, Ken and, and Bill and uh, Congressman Hurt and Ken and Rachel and all the leadership. It, it's a tide. It, it's our time. It, it's for us. It's for Virginia. It's for your kids, your grandkids, and their kids. And we see it. And it's right there. It's within our grasp. We are 21 days from victory. I can taste it, I can smell it, and I can see it. As Ken talked about, I'm a football player. We're on the five-yard line now. We are on the five-yard line. It's time to punch it through and stick it where we can win it. All right? Thank you all. Let's bring it home. Let's bring a victory home. Let's bring it to Avmar. Let's get Ken in the office because we got to have him there. These are important issues to all of us. You know what's happening out here. And let's get our neighbors put back to work. We do that. We grow. Virginia grows. We all get to have a great Christmas. And we go into January with the majority in the Senate. Thank you all. God bless. God bless.